I'm interested in exploring that because I think for a lot of people when they very first get started and it may have been different for you because of how you got your start. Yeah. But when people are, you know, living somewhere else and they're not in the music industry, but they dream of it and they come here and they tie their happiness to their success. Right. And things go wrong. Yeah. And it's it's something that I've been really interested in exploring. Is that something you've watched you've had to watch for in your life? That I you, have experienced if, that. You know, if a record didn't quite go as well or something right. didn't come out as you thought, that it didn't affect your happiness. It only affected your work life. Right, yes. And I think that's it's really hard to, to separate that, I think, for a lot of people. Like you say, you, come, you dream of this. You come to Nashville and you think, you know, I always thought, gosh, if I have a, a successful song or if I'm very successful in what I do, that that equates to happy. That doesn't necessarily, some of the most miserable people that I've ever met have lots and lots of money and lots of success, but they are, they're not happy. And, and I think watching that, and I watched that early on, and I know, you know, working towards in country music and working in bluegrass and seeing the different, the way things work. Um, and I think the greatest way to, for me to, um, to really define that is there is, in bluegrass music, there's an authenticity. It's very real, and I think that makes it a little easier for me to probably attain that happiness because, I mean, yes, you want a successful career, but I think that you have to keep it very real. When I would go home, I live in Missouri still, but early on in my career, whenever, you know, you have managers, you have people to do everything for you, but it was important when I would go home, my, my husband would make sure the wood box was empty. <laughs> so the first thing that I had to do when I got home is go out and bring wood in yeah. and you know mountains of laundry little you know I have small our daughters you know and he would make sure you know there's there's a, a jolt back into reality and I think there everyone has to have a place where you can it's like hitting reset and yeah. I am I'm hitting reset and now whether I sing I play whatever my career is that is secondary to this family that's right here and and really centering yourself whether you have a family or maybe you don't have a husband but still finding that place where you can you just at some point you have to be real with yourself and to yeah. be able to say this is just me here and have I been true to myself and have I been you know uh, I, I want to really take a, a close evaluation of who I am have I been, you know, you can get really caught up in yeah. the music business and not treat people well. Mm -hmm. And you might not treat people good. You might not treat yourself well, or maybe you're not being treated right. You know, so, and it's important to, you have to sort that out. And I think you have to get that alone time and really, and yeah. do a, a close self-evaluation of your circumstances and everything. You know, my husband, when I was in country music, you know, we were getting groceries off credit card at, at one point. It was very, I mean, even though he worked, I mean, I could never have followed my dream if it hadn't been for my husband. He was there paying the bills. But it got, you know, we were paying money to go to Nashville and paying money for, you know, trying to pursue this career. It becomes very expensive. And, I mean, that's that story has been, I remember Jody Messina was, uh, you know, captive in that too. And she had a number one record and was yep. on the verge of bankruptcy. And that, that comes, you know, very often because they want you to look a certain way. They want you to rent a tour bus. And you can't afford to do that at that point yes yeah, and yeah. so you can really get into a lot of debt and I think that's that's probably be, before happiness I mean you want to be happy but number one just budgeting and making sure that you don't get so because that's going to lead to real unhappiness if you have to file for bankruptcy or if you're homeless or yeah. you know it can really lead to that it's a very very it's something that's very very serious and the lights and the, the glitter of of a career no matter where it is uh, is so appealing and you go oh my goodness I want to do that let me sign my life away yes. and then everyone you're actually working for everyone else and you're penniless so it's something real I mean I've experienced that I would not to be penniless penniless I guess but you know we've been on that verge to say Creeping let's make it yeah, yeah and you want to make that you got to look at your decisions and say am I going to continue this I guess it's almost like it's almost like gambling really you know, if you're at the yeah. crap table, yeah. you got to know when to family. say, you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. The wisdom of Kenny <laughs> Rogers.